Um, I've never complained yet about a product. Yes, I do complain if something isn't up to what I think it should be. I am a complainer. I, I have my moments. I always complain if I get back, because I'm polite, and when I'm polite to somebody, I expect that politeness back. There's no need for rudeness, really. Today we're asking you to have your say. Do you get a chance to express your views? Do these large supermarkets listen to you? Well, we're joined by someone who spends their life talking to the public. Hi, Martin. Great to meet you. Thanks for inviting me along. So, what makes a successful market research question? The question shouldn't lead the person you're interviewing. It shouldn't bias them in any particular way. And it should get to the heart of the issue so they concentrate on the area you're trying to find out about. Once you've gathered the information, what do you do with it? Well, what I'm trying to do is solve problems for my clients. They often need to know the answers to particular questions. They need to know about particular products, how members of the public are using those products. And the only way for them to do this is not to guess or just have a hunch, but really to go out and talk to real people about the products in real situations and find out how exactly how they use them at home.